From the sidewalks of Newbury Street in Boston, it's hard to get a sense of the brilliance of the stained glass windows in the Church of the Covenant. Inside, church members say the windows still don't glow quite the way they're supposed to. It's a beautiful place and we love to share it. The goal here isn't just sharing this space, but preserving it as well. Charlene James was integral to the effort to get it designated as a National Historic Landmark in 2012. This is the largest Tiffany decorated ecclesiastical building in the country. The decor dates back to the 1890s when the Tiffany Glass and Decorating Company redesigned the entire sanctuary. The work included 42 stained glass windows, which are now the focus of a restoration campaign. It's striking to see them side by side because you can see what you've done yes. and how time has taken a toll. Yes, Over very here. much. And equally incredible windows. The Madonna's more my favorite, but we all have our favorites. These two stained glass windows act as a before and after of restoration work. The Angel and Cornelius, with its vibrant blue background, completed the process in 2021. So it looks great now, but... It looks great now, but uh, according to Roberto at Serpentino, some of the pieces were hanging by a thread. So this would be the one you probably want to start with. Each of these windows is made up of layers of glass to create complex colors and images, one of Lewis Comfort Tiffany's signatures. But every one of those layers also trapped grime and candle soot. Then you have dirt here. Oh, oh look at that. that. <laughs> Craftspeople at Serpentino Stained Glass in Needham repaired cracks and re-leaded the window before returning it home. Church of the Covenant hopes to begin work soon on its neighbor, showing the Madonna and Child. Well, there's holes, oh, there a few are. holes. It's a crack, but it's more than a crack. Mm -hmm. A crack is just in the glass. This you can see through to the outside. Right. The latest project is 22 decorative windows that kind of pull things together in the clear story, the higher reaches of the place. The team at Serpentino Stained Glass has already restored and reinstalled a set of these windows. Reverend Rob Mark is lead pastor at Church of the Covenant. It's such a gift to have this building, to be stewards of it, to really have experts like Charlene and others who care so deeply about these windows and to have a community that is incredibly generous. It's a privilege, it's an honor. He hopes this church and its art will send a different message on a street so often associated with luxury. Our deepest hope as we do our best to restore this sacred space is to communicate to anyone who walks by that you matter, that you are beautiful, that you are worth restoration. And during the preservation process, the church is still very much so open for worship services. They also offer their space to nonprofits, including Women's Lunch Place, a wonderful organization that helps those experiencing homelessness. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Anthony Everett. And I'm Shana Seymour. Have a great evening. We'll see you back here tomorrow night. Good night.